Okay, everybody, still working on HBR. Harvard Business Review, for those that don't know. Okay, if you're a new leader, yeah, that's that's gonna be your, one of your great resources. It's just all the new information coming through HBR, but this is one of those books that's a classic. Um, it's the 10 you know, best must-reads from HBR. Okay, so we're breaking down ideal performance from the focus of somebody that used to train Olympic athletes and then started training corporate people and noticed there's a disconnect. They were only thinking neck up. Um, they had to think about the whole unit of the body. Yeah. So they they talked about physical performance as a way to build your leadership performance, emotional capacity, uh, ways to build that, that, cognitive capacity, ways to build that. And then how do you build your spiritual performance, which is interesting to think about because it's not maybe something that a lot of leaders think about is your spiritual performance. What does that even mean? So what, they, what they're referring to in this article and um, I'll get the names again for you. It's Let's and you know, Lair and Schwartz. Lair and Schwartz. Um, okay, so this is talking about uh, spiritual performance of leaders. And what they're referring to there is the deep values or a strong sense of purpose. Do you have that as a leader? Does your, do your, your, do your team members have that? Do we build that into our team members? I mean, how do we do that? So they're talking about the sustenance. Um, that can happen when we know exactly like what's important to us, why we do something, um, and then you know our deep meaning of like what what does our work mean? What's the difference that we can make in the world with our work? Um, it's really important if we know that you know because as humans and, and our neuroscience is like we're willing to do things if we feel like we are valued and that we can um, make a difference in this world. There's a term called generativity. And generativity means you have influence on, few, on the current or future generations and that we are very willing to do that generally if we're very willing to give of our time and our skills uh, and our past experiences if we know we can make a difference to the next generation so it's important if you think of your work if you feel like you're kind of stuck realize where you can um, use the concept of generativity in your lives are you mentoring anyone are you, do you work with students sometimes do you um, work with learners at any stage? Do you um, uh, coach other people? Do you sponsor others? So if you're sharing kind of your skills and your abilities, uh, we always feel better about that. That's a strong neuroscience need that we have. So, so excuse me, sometimes when we don't have that, we feel stuck, like we don't feel satisfied, like something's missing. Um, and that's a part of our brain. Uh, Simon Sinek talks a lot about this, that there's a nonverbal part of our brain. That's our why. You must know your why. Why do you do things? But that's our deep sense of purpose. So back to this article, they said, you know, the spirit, the spiritual or the values and our sense of purpose um, will increase our motivation. So for me, equity is really important. So I'm really willing to put a lot of time and energy into things if I'm improving equity in any way, including gender, race, etc. Um, so it increases our motivation, increases our focus, if we're really important to it, we're, we're willing to work hard on it. It increases our determination and our resiliency. Um, they call it value-based adaptation, where you connect impact to a deeper purpose. So if your team seems like they're just not grabbing onto this project, if you can remind them of the deeper purpose of the project, hopefully there is one, um, that you can link them to, you know, you're going to get more motivation, focus, determination, resiliency towards that project, right? Um, so what does it take to get there? Sometimes it takes a little reflection time. One of the other videos had, had recommended, um, one of the other articles that I made a video on for the series had recommended taking 15 minutes a day to just journal about success. This may be another time that you can add some journaling um, uh, into, which is like reflect, like what does this mean to you? Why are you doing this project? Why, who are you and what is important to you, right? It's, it's time uh, to take some time. It's a great time. It's a great idea to take some time to think like, who am I? What's important to me? If you're not sure, there's ways to figure out your values. We do that in Brain Crush. Um, I'm glad to do that with you. And um, there's ways to figure out your strengths so you can lead with your strengths because it feels better to use your strengths. It doesn't feel good to always be struggling. And then they, again, talk about rituals. So why do we put rituals throughout our day or in our lives? There are times to kind of pause and, and to honor what's important to us. So it's a time, they say, to pause and look inside. Um, what could that look like? You could meditate, you could journal, you could pray, you could give service. Um, these are all tools that, that ritual of recovery. So if all day long you're focused, 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 getting things done, you need to take also take some time for renewal. And so those are some suggestions of the rituals that you could take and they call them recovery tools. Meditation, journal, prayer, service. 
Um, what will that do? It'll increase your focus, your feeling of positivity, and even your productivity. So isn't that interesting? In order to be more productive, you have to rest more often. Life is funny, huh? Okay, so this week, so, so tell me which one you might choose. What, are you gonna choose meditation, journal, prayer, service? Are you gonna take some journaling time to figure out like what is important to you? Do you want some help figuring out your values? Because I, you know, some people just have never done that and it's really nice to see them written down. They're your line in the sand, like what's really important to you, you're not gonna cross that. Um, we're all different, we all have our own, and even our strengths, we all have our own. Um, so let me know which one you're gonna try today. You're gonna try meditation, journal, prayer, or service. Okay, you got this guys, I believe in you.